Administrator Bolden, in, in your exchange with, with Senator Gardner, uh, you, you told this committee that, that NASA in your tenure had spent $498 billion on human space flight. Now, politicians are famously bad at math, but I just did some quick back of the envelope analysis, and NASA's budget's about $18 billion. You've been administrator seven years. That's $126 billion. So I assume you must have misspoken, because that's over 300 percent the total budget of NASA for your tenure. That's what I said. I, I am now told by my staff that I was right when I gave you the first number, which was $49 billion. So I misspoke. You're right. I, 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 assu I assumed but it must have been. You're, I, I you're just wanted to right. clarify the record for the you're, hearing. You're, you're absolutely that, right. That $498 billion, the math was not adding up if, yeah. the, if that number. I, I'm a pilot, a Marine pilot, <laughs> and I look, that's, I, that's not to, I, I should have known that. I, look, I, s I sadly, Congress for some time has demonstrated an inability to distinguish between millions and billions, so um, uh, you, 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 are, you are in good company here. Yes, um, I want to note, uh, you have spent a great deal of time at this hearing defending the importance of Earth sciences, defending the importance of weather observation. I think everyone would agree with that. There is no one at this hearing that disagrees that we need to observe what is happening with our weather, that we need to know more and have weather satellites. Uh, I would note, though, that, that Senator Gardner's questions, I think, were quite accurate. NASA's core competence is not Texas soil conservation. Now, I am a Texan. I love our Texas soil. But there are a lot of people studying Texas soil. We've got a whole U.S. Department of Agriculture that spends a lot of time and energy studying the soil in Texas and everywhere else. That ain't what makes NASA special. And I have to say, if NASA ever becomes the place to study Texas soil, you're going to lose a whole lot of bright new engineers who want to go explore the galaxy. To my mind, that exchange underscored the central point I made at the outset of this, this hearing. It is not that our sciences are not valuable, but in the last six years there has been a disproportionate increase. We have seen earth sciences increase 41 percent, and we have seen exploration and space operations, what should be the core mission, what NASA exists to do, decrease 7.6 percent. That, in my view, is disproportionate, and it is not consistent with the reason so many talented young scientists have joined NASA. And so it is my hope that this committee will work in a bipartisan manner to help refocus those priorities where they should be, to get back to the hard sciences, to get back to space, to focus on what makes NASA special. I am hopeful that this subcommittee will move forward with a NASA reauthorization, and that in that process we will continue this discussion of getting back to the core priorities of NASA. With that, I will recognize Senator Peters for an additional round.